<laughs> to you, Gaston. <laughs> to you, Ben. <laughs> to you, Holly. <laughs> to you, Bobby B. And Bobby B. Would you like to play too? That must mean yes. Um, let's play racing. Fastest across the meadow is the winner. Can we fly? No flying and no magic. OK. Ready? Steady? Go! <laughs> Gaston showing us some tricks. Good idea, Ben. We can sit and watch for a bit. <laughs> Look, Betty Caterpillar is sad. I think she feels a bit left out. <laughs> I know how to cheer her up. Oh, good. Go on then, Ben. <laughs> Don't be sad, Betty. Flying isn't everything. Elves can't fly and I'm an elf. <laughs> that didn't cheer her up much. Maybe I can make her fly by magic. Can you do that? Um, I think so. Abracadabra, fly, Betty, fly. <laughs> wow, it worked. <laughs> oh, I didn't expect that to happen. We need to rescue her. I could do another spell. No, no, I've got a better idea. <laughs> Yahoo! Whoa, steady, Betty. Whoa, whoa. <gasps> That's better. Brilliant. Ah! Ah! Hello, Holly. Oh, hello, Daddy. Whoa! What on earth is going on? Uh, Ben's in a spot of bother. Whoa! Help! Ah, I see. Help! Help! Liberty Flop! Stop! 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 What were you doing to that poor creature? We were just trying to help her. Betty's sad that she can't fly. I see. Well, you needn't worry. She'll be flying soon enough on her own. How? Well, because she's one of those, uh, insect things. A caterpillar? Thank you, Ben. Yes, a caterpillar. And they change, don't they? Do they? Of course they do. So you've nothing to worry about. Uh, right. If you want to help, you can find her some leaves to eat. So if we want to help her fly, we have to find more leaves. Exactly. She needs to eat lots and lots of leaves. Why? You'll see. First, gather up the leaves. OK, let's see who can get the most leaves. OK, you're on. Oh, do you think we've 
give Betty too many leaves? Yes, she is a tiny bit fat. There's no way she'll ever fly. That's better. She's a good weight now. Uh, Daddy, how can this help Betty fly? <laughs> You'll see. Home time! Ah, oh, that's Nanny Plum calling me in. Ben! Home time! And that's my dad. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Ben. Good night, Betty. told us to feed Betty, but now she's so big, she'll never fly. Daddy must be wrong. Holly, Daddy's never wrong. He's a king and he's very, uh, wise. But how will Betty fly? Wait and see. Good night, Holly. Good night, Mummy. But how will Betty Caterpillar fly? Well, she won't exactly be a caterpillar anymore. Ah, uh, I don't get it. You will tomorrow. Good night, Ben. Good night, Dad. Morning time! Where's Betty? Um, I don't know. But look at that. Ugh. What is it? Don't know, but it wasn't here yesterday. Hiya. Hi, Violet. Hi, Strawberry. Ugh. What's that? We don't know. It's a cocoon. Caterpillars make them. So, is Betty Caterpillar inside? Yes, but when she comes out, she won't be a caterpillar anymore. What will she be? Um, maybe a frog. A frog? Or maybe a bird. I see. Betty Caterpillar's going to turn into a bird. Then she'll fly. Ah, a cocoon. Yes, Daddy. Betty Caterpillar is inside it. And when she comes out, she'll be able to fly. Because she'll be a bird. Ah, uh, actually, caterpillars don't normally change into birds. Do they change into frogs? Um, not frogs either. But what will she? <gasps> <laughs> Hello, Betty. Oh, she looks the same. <laughs> Wow! She's a butterfly! Betty Butterfly! <laughs> Look! They're all flying together! She looks really happy! Let's join them! <laughs> Now everyone can fly. <laughs> I can't fly. Uh, ben, I thought elves were rather good at using ladybirds to fly. That's right. Elves can fly on ladybirds. And I'm an elf. <laughs> Gaston! <laughs> Thanks, Gaston. Giddy up, giddy up. <laughs> Yeehaw! Betty Butterfly! Your mother and I are going away for the day on royal business. Which means you will be at home, alone with Nanny Plum. Ooh! Everything will be fine, Your Majesties. So no funny business. I don't want to come home to find the kingdom covered in frogs or jelly or anything. 
No, Daddy. Because while we're away, you represent King and Queen Thistle. Does that mean I can be Queen? <laughs> well, I suppose it does. Just for today. Brilliant! Magic car, drive on. Bye! Bye. Be good. Bye-bye! <laughs> <laughs> Queen Holly. Hmm, I like the sound of that. <clears throat> Hello, I'm Queen Holly. <laughs> Oh, hello, Ben. Hello, Nanny Plum. Can Holly come out to play? I'm afraid Holly's much too busy to play today. She has a kingdom to run. Huh? Ben! Come up here, quick! OK. <laughs> Hi, Holly. Queen Holly to you. What? Mummy and Daddy have gone on a trip today and left me in charge of the whole kingdom. Wow! So I'm Queen Holly. Hello. Hello, Nanny Plum. I've come to collect Ben Elf. It's time for school. OK, I'll just... Nanny, send the wise old elf up. I'll sort this out. Very well, Your Majesty. Enter. Hello, Princess Holly. I'm not Princess Holly. I am Queen Holly today. I've got no time for these fun and games. I've come to collect Ben for school. Oh. Wait, Ben. Mummy and Daddy are away today, so I am in charge of the whole kingdom. Is this true, Nanny Plum? I'm afraid so. And I have just decided that Ben does not have to go to school today. It's the law. Well, this is most unusual. In fact, there'll be no school for anyone today. No school for anyone? Yes, it's the law. Because I am Queen Holly. Um, as you wish, Queen Holly. <laughs> oh dear, the children will be most upset when they hear the news. Children, I'm afraid Queen Holly has informed me there will be no school today. Hooray! 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 What's that noise? Queen Holly! Hooray! Hooray! Shush! Today shall be a holiday for everyone, even grown-ups. Even the wise old elf. And Nanny Plum. Oh! No one's allowed to work. It's the law. But what shall we do all day? Uh, play games. Yes. You've got to play games and be happy because I am Queen Holly! Thank you, Queen Holly! Right, Mr Elf, next on the list, a delivery of food for the little castle. Right ho, Mrs Elf! Gosh, what a busy day! Yes! But elves like being busy. And we're, we're elves! elves. <laughs> <laughs> Make way! Elf at work! There's no work today, Mr Elf. It's a holiday. Is this true, wise old elf? Uh, 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 I'm afraid so. But I've got an urgent delivery of food for the little castle. I suggest you come back tomorrow. Righty-ho! Bye! Bye! Talking of food, I'm getting a bit hungry. Me too. And me! And me! And me. And me. Queen Holly! We're hungry! Very well. I command you to eat something. <laughs> Being queen is easy peasy. But no one has managed 
provide any food. Everyone's on holiday. Oh. Queen Holly, if you would allow the elves back to work, we could make everyone lunch. No, no. You all have to have a nice day's holiday. It's the law. But we're hungry. We need food. Uh, I'll make food. Hooray! Now, what do you eat on holiday? Ice cream. Yes, that's it. You shall all eat ice cream. Hooray! Thank you, Queen Holly. <laughs> cauldron to make the ice cream. Oh, are you going to make the ice cream with magic? Of course I am. But Holly, your spells don't always work out quite right. Making ice cream is easy peasy. Watch. Abracadoo, abracabong. Uh, ice cream for everyone all day long. <laughs> See, it works. Wow! Ice cream's for everyone! Ooh, thank, thank you. you! I'll be back with more! <laughs> oh, there's quite a lot! Will it stop soon? Uh, I think I told it to make ice cream all day long! Oh dear! Ah, <sighs> we'll soon be home! Yes, and it's good to see that the kingdom isn't flooded with frogs or jelly or anything. Yes, Holly must be behaving herself. Ah! There's too many ice creams! Make it stop, Holly! Make it stop! Uh, ziggity, ziggity, stop! 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 For you, that's better. Um... Ah! Well, thank goodness the King and Queen aren't here to see all this mess. It's the King and Queen. Hooray! It's very nice of you all to welcome us home like this. May I be the first to say how pleased we are to see you back again, Your Majesties. While you were away... Yes, yes. I'm a bit tired, so if you'll excuse me. Ah, stop! Uh, maybe you should go for a little walk, Your Majesty. I've just got a bit of tidying up to do inside. Thank you, Nanny Plum, but all I want to do now is have a nice bath. <gasps> Whoa! Daddy, it's all my fault. I tried to be a good queen and make everybody happy, but it's a lot harder than you'd think. <laughs> yes, Holly, I know it is. Especially with elves. Elves are never happy. <clears throat> we are happy when we are busy. Elves like being busy. And, and we're, we're elves! <laughs> In that case, I command you to go back to work at once. Hooray! And your first job will be to clean up all this ice cream. Thank you, Your Majesty. Three cheers for King Thistle. And Queen Holly. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! <laughs> <laughs> That's enough playing for one day. It's time for Ben to go home. Oh, can we play a little bit longer? No, Holly, it's your bedtime. Is it your bedtime too, Nanny Plum? Goodness me, no. I have to work all night. You have to work all night? I'm a tooth fairy. You're a tooth fairy? Yes. When a child loses a baby tooth, they put it under the pillow before going to sleep. 
Then I take it away and leave a coin in its place. Wow! When your tooth falls out, for whom do you shout? The Tooth Fairy! Ooh, exciting! I have to collect a little girl's tooth tonight. Can we come with you, Nanny? Hmm, only if you're very quiet. We mustn't wake the little girl up. We can be quiet, can't we, Ben? Elves are very good at being quiet. And I'm an elf! Shush! Dear me! This is why there are no tooth elves, only tooth fairies. It's very late to be making so much noise. Shouldn't you be getting home, Ben? We want to see Nanny be the tooth fairy. But you've got school tomorrow, Holly. It's the school holidays. But it's very dark outside. Princess Holly could do with some night flying practice. But being a tooth fairy can be very dangerous work. We'll be very careful. But please can we go? OK, as long as you stay close to Nanny. Hooray! When your tooth falls out, for whom do you shout? The, the tooth, tooth fairy! <laughs> <laughs> Nanny? Why did Mummy say being a tooth fairy was dangerous? There are lots of things you need to be careful of when you're flying at night. Like what? Ah! Cobwebs, for instance. Good evening, Madam Spider. Sorry for damaging your web, but the young elf isn't very experienced at night flying. Oh. You. Bye. Oh. Thanks, Nanny Plum. Nanny, what else do we have to look out for? Ah! Windows! Where did that come from? Well done, Holly. You found the little girl's house. And that's the little girl. She doesn't look very little. Wow! Look at that big girl! Shush! She's also got big ears to hear us with. So be very quiet. Follow me. She's very pretty. Not too close, Princess Holly. Oh, her breath is pulling me in. Beat your wings. <laughs> As I said, we must be very careful. This is the tricky bit. I have to get the tooth from under the pillow without waking the little girl. How? <clears throat> Gently pillow up, up, up. Wow! There it is. <clears throat> it's stuck. One, two, three, pull! Oh, thanks, Ben. That's what I call a big baby tooth. What about the coin, Nanny? Here it is. Oh, no. What's wrong? Oh, the little girl's written us a letter. What a nuisance. I love getting letters. But the children always want a reply. Now we'll have to come back again. Can I read it? Dear Tooth Fairy, what is it like to live in Fairyland? Fairyland. That makes it sound like some silly make-believe place. Did she ask about elves? Um, no, Ben. Maybe there wasn't enough room on the paper. But she does say, love from Lucy. That's a lovely name. Shush. Remember, Princess Holly, we mustn't wake her. Nanny! What happens to the tooth now? We give it to the elves. They take care of the rest. This way. Hopefully, there'll be no one there. Then we can just leave our tooth and go. Good evening. Can I help you? Oh, hello. Tooth delivery. Have you filled in your tooth report? Yes. There appear to be some details missing. Where was the tooth found? Ugh, under the pillow. Under the pillow. Dear me, you haven't even put the little girl's name. We know that. Her name is Lucy. Lucy. And she's written us a letter. Ah, a letter. There'll have to be a reply before morning. Oh. I'll write it. Dear Lucy, um, 
It's very nice in the little kingdom. There are lots of fairies. And elves. OK, Ben. And there are lots of elves too. Love, Princess Holly. And Ben Elf. And Ben Elf. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Now we've got to take it back. We'll have to be quick. It's almost morning. Someone's coming. Hide under the bed. That must be Lucy's mummy. Oh no! The window's shut. How will we get out? This is elf work. Elves are good at opening windows and I'm an elf. <gasps> Stop, Ben. You'll wake Lucy. Sorry. <sighs> hmm. I think we're going to need more than one elf. I'll ring for more elves. Oh, where can I get a signal on my phone? Don't stand too close, Ben. Ah! Help! Uh, what did Nanny say? Oh, yes. Beat your wings. But I'm an elf. I don't have wings. OK, um, flap your arms. Uh... Hello. <gasps> You're meant to be asleep. You're not supposed to see us. Who are you? Uh, I'm Holly. I'm a fairy princess. A real fairy princess with wings and a wand and everything. <laughs> yes. And this is Ben. He's an elf. <laughs> Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. Oh, I wrote you a letter. Thank you. Oh, it's so little. It's a terrible signal. Wise old elf? Nanny Plum, don't you know what time it is? I didn't call to ask you the time. We're in a big house and the window's closed. I need some elves to rescue us. I see. How many elves do you need? All of them. We came in through the window, but now it's shut. There, it's open. Thanks, Lucy. It was nice meeting you, Lucy, but we weren't supposed to wake you. It's OK. I'll pretend to be asleep. Bye-bye. <laughs> hmm. I see you woke the little girl up. We didn't mean to, Nanny. Oh, it's OK. They always wake up. Elves to the rescue! Elves to the rescue! Now, where's this window that needs opening? You just came through it. But that's an open window. Yes, we've done it ourselves. We don't need you anymore. Sorry. Sorry? You've just dragged every elf in the kingdom from their beds. Shush! Can you be quiet? Of course I can. Elves are very good at being quiet. And we're, we're elves! elves. No! This is why elves can't be tooth fairies. You're too noisy. Are you all right, Lucy? We heard a noise. It's OK. She's asleep. You can come out now. Phew! Bye, Lucy. See you again. Bye, Ben and Holly. Um, can we have a lift? I'm a bit too tired to fly. Up aboard. <laughs> that was fun. When your tooth falls out, for whom do you shout? The Tooth Fairy! Ah!